all doing fine if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back here taking your time to watch my videos i really appreciate much and god bless you but if you are new here it is your first time here in my channel you are welcome and please before you leave this channel make sure you subscribe and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you're going to enjoy every content that i do in this channel so guys in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the tips for black women looking for white men and they want to try online dating oh you have started already your online search for a white man but you don't know how to go about it so in this video it is going to help you simplify your search make your search easy and chat with the right white men but guys before i start out today's video why should you try online dating site if you're a black woman looking for a white man for a relationship or for marriage online dating sites is the potential place where you can meet these white men who are looking for black women it's so potential white men are so many and serious ones if you think online dating sites don't work then you should try online dating sites so guys i want to share with you a little bit of a story so that you can understand where i am coming from why am i sharing these tips with you when I was heartbroken by Tanzanian men, I had a lot of breakups, guys. Heartbroken? Oh my God. I was so heartbroken by Tanzanian men and I decided that I'm no longer going to date Tanzanian men. I am done with them. Now I want to try other countries. <laughs> and confession, guys, I decided to join online dating sites, but I was not looking for a white man. I remember chatting to Kenyan men. I used to think Kenyan men were very romantic. They were very genuine because I used to watch some um, TV programs <laughs> whereby they used to show Kenyan weddings. So I could see, oh my God, these Kenyan men are so good. They really have true love. So I started chatting with Kenyan men online. And also I remember chatting with Ugandans, Ugandan men. I also chatted with one Congolese man, but he was living in Australia. Another man that I used to chat with, South African men. But afterwards, I decided also to chat with white men. And if you remember, I shared a story that I found a man there. He was from Germany. We chatted. He was very serious, but he was going to live in Kenya because he had a company there and he was a very good man guys very good <laughs> i can assure you that because all the time we are chatting online he was showing that he is serious and he was very transparent so after that that is when i got a message from my friend who was living in italy who told me that she wants to connect me with this italian man she knows this man and i changed my mind and then I dropped that germany man <laughs> poor him and decided to start a relationship with my husband but i tried online dating site before i was there confession <laughs> so that is why i'm here to share with you these tips and i've been helping a lot of women about online dating sites and i have even helped one woman through my guidance that you do this do this do this and she was able to find a husband online not only that guys i have like 10 friends that i know who have found their husbands online so without wasting much of your time let us start our video right away tip number one you need to be patient when looking for a white man online patience is needed guys you're not going to join online dating site then after two days, three days, or a month, then tang, you've got your husband, tick, 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 time to get married, everything went so smoothly. It is not a smooth journey. Those people who have been there can tell you guys, it's not easy, but when you are patient, 
you will find that white man eventually, the right one. But if you're not patient, then you're going to chat to a lot of men <laughs> because you're in a hurry, but those men are going to waste your time, they're going to break your heart, and you will not find that right man that you are looking for. I remember when I was online dating site, I used to read people's testimonies whereby they used to tell their stories, how they met and how long it took them to meet each other online. I can remember there is a story that I read there online, a testimony, whereby a lady said that she spent five years online <laughs> without getting anyone but that fifth year she found her husband so you can see how long it can take you can see how much patience is needed when you're looking for a white man yes it can happen you can join the dating site then within a few months you find the right man for you but it takes luck and i can tell it's it takes luck guys it takes luck to find a white man online in a very short time patience is needed so that you cannot just be in a hurry and chat with people who will break your heart who will make you hate online dating sites tip number two you should know what you want in that white man that you're looking for on online dating sites this will help you not to be manipulated this will help you not be controlled by these crazy men that are online dating sites. Online dating sites have got a lot of crazy people who want to waste time, who just want to fantasize, who think black women are so desperate, so they just want to play with your feelings. But when you know what you're looking for in that white man that you're looking on online dating sites, then you'll be able to spot out the right man and when you chat with these crazy people you will let them know that i want this 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 and this in a man that i'm looking for so you are not going to follow what these crazy people are telling you but you will follow what you are looking for this is so important my dear beautiful ladies tip number three be clear in your profile of what you want in a man and also tell them who you are take your time to write a very beautiful impressive description about you tell them also that you are not a prostitute that is why you're not going to send them nude photos <laughs> or you're not going to stay nude on camera just be clear to add on that when it comes to photos upload decent photos don't think that if you put seducing photos then it will be easier for you to find a man on online dating sites it won't upload decent photos and be careful about your background because if you're going to post photos having background you're at the airport having the background of luxury hotels having the background maybe you are at the club my dear beautiful ladies when you upload photos which are not decent there is no serious white man that is going to take you seriously they're going to think that you are there for something else but you're not looking for a husband you're not looking for a serious relationship so be clear in your profile the photos that you upload be clear in your description write a very impressive description because when your photos are so indecent, maybe you are at the beach in a bikini, you are going to attract losers. You are going to attract those men who fantasize. You are going to attract men who are looking for online. So please upload decent photos. And I can assure you guys, you are going to find that white man that you are looking for on online dating sites. Before I forget to add on this about photos, do not edit so much your photos. Yes, you can edit them, but don't edit them so much that it removes your natural beauty or your natural look. Be natural, 
be you in photos so that when people meet you in person it is you because <laughs> i remember one story <laughs> there is a girl who was chatting with a guy online and then they decided to meet so this girl went to the airport to pick this man and when this man saw the girl was like is it you <laughs> you look so different you look old <laughs> And the girl was telling me that the face this man was showing it's like he wanted to return back to his country the same day because he found this girl different with the photos that he saw on online dating site so don't edit so much your photos <laughs> just be real <laughs> tip number four do not rush to exchange phone numbers with these white men you meet online and think maybe if if a man asks your phone number then he is serious <laughs> it's not true guys some of them just want to waste your time they want to ask nude photos they want to do online <laughs> and they can't ask you on the site because they know maybe you might report them so that is why they are rushing to ask your phone number and guys if you remember the other story i shared of the girl who met her boyfriend online she told me it reached a point whereby her phone book was full of white men phone numbers but did that help no they are only there to disturb her only to fantasize so take your time tell this man that i want us to chat more here <laughs> those who are losers those who are just there to play games they are going to tell you no i'm not always here i don't have much time to stay here on the site that is why i want your phone number <laughs> but a serious man is going to accept because he is serious and he is interested in you whatever you say he is going to listen to you so take your time to know this man more on the site before you exchange your phone numbers so that you don't have your phone book full of white men phone numbers <laughs> and you won't waste your time on men who are there to play <laughs> it will help you so much Tip number five do not wait to be found because if you're going to just wait for men to write to you then it is going to take you a long time and who knows it might be your luck you read someone's profile and like him write him a message he responds good it and eventually maybe he is the one so take your time to read this man's profile <laughs> the description the photos that i have posted take your time to read when you read his profile and something tells you this man might be a serious man then do not worry do not be scared to drop a message for this man write him a message and when he responds please be sharp <laughs> to answer his message and don't answer in a short way <laughs> like k <"Kay." laughs> no <laughs> great <laughs> those are shortcuts that most men online who are serious they don't like such answers <laughs> When a man answers you good, then take your time also to answer this man good and not in a short way. When you answer in a short way, you are chasing this man away. <laughs> he will think, mm, this girl, yes, she wrote me a message, but maybe she is not so much interested in me. So please answer in time and answer long answers not shortcuts not short answers <laughs> so don't wait to be found read those profiles try to send them some messages it might be your luck it might be your luck to find the right man it might be your luck you write a message and then this man turns out to be your husband turns out to be your future husband <laughs> number six be there to have fun to have experience like me i have experience because i was there i tried it so be there to have experience and this experience might help you in the future and also to have fun <laughs> don't take so much seriously to what these men say to you 
because some men are so rude on online dating sites they might say you words that will really hurt you but don't take them seriously <laughs> like i said some of them are crazy and sometimes you can chat with a man these men who fantasize they are so good in words they can tell you sweet sweet words <laughs> which will make you create castles on air so do not take them so seriously do not believe in a man while chatting on online dating sites before you start to see the actions don't believe in only words because if you believe in only words and create castles in in the air then what will happen if this man was a player if this man was just playing games if this man was just fantasizing it if you believe in this man so much it is going to hurt you if you come to find out he was just fantasizing if you come to find out he was just playing games i want to give you a story story time and this is about me not a friend not a girl that i know me <laughs> when i was online dating sites I was chatting with a guy from Uganda, but he was studying in Denmark. This guy had a very, he had sweet words. He made me believe him. <laughs> I believed in every word that he told me. He made me believe that he was my husband to be. <laughs> he even told me he was planning to come and meet me because I was doing business at that time. He asked me, what are you doing in life? I told him that I was doing business. Then he was like, I'm going to invest in your business so that uh, your business can grow because your business is our business. You know, we are one thing. I really want to help you. I get money here. I'm studying, but I get some uh, pocket money and I'm able to save. So the money that I save, um, I'm going to take some of it and invest in your business so that our business can grow guys he had sweet tongue he had sweet words i believed in this guy but one day guess what he just disappeared i sent him a message he was online but he could not answer me and then afterwards he started telling me oh some bad things have happened to me i can't talk i'm so sad and uh, i don't know what to do so let us take a break so i was like uh take a break for how long i don't know i don't know for how long but we can be friends <laughs> can you imagine guys after fantasizing for so long after wasting my time for so long <laughs> if you come across this video one day you wasted my time you really wasted my time and oh my god i was so heartbroken <laughs> i thought not dating my fellow tanzanian men <laughs> but date other african men from other countries will help me but it wasn't the case i was heartbroken the same so this guy in the end told me he wants to become my friend and blah 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 but he continued to stay online this shows that he was just fantasizing so that is why i'm telling you be there to have fun don't take seriously the words these men are telling you but watch the actions so if this man's actions go hand in hand with his words then believe him believe him give him a chance but if not only words don't give this man your heart so much <laughs> just be there to have fun to have experience <laughs> because i don't want you again to come and tell me bella online dating site is bad online dating site does not work online dating site has got bad people i have told you yes it has got bad people but good people exist it's true guys you can find love true love on online dating sites so be there to have fun be there to have experience but do not be scared to try out online dating sites i'm saying try online dating sites because if you are waiting to meet a white man maybe in africa you are in africa or you are in another continent where there is a little chance of meeting white men it is going to be so difficult for you to achieve 
what you are looking for. It is going to be so difficult. Yes, I'm not saying it's not possible to meet a white man there in Africa or in uh, whatever continent you are, it's possible, but it's very rare. And while you are waiting to meet your white man where you are, then try online dating site. Another reason I'm advising you to try online dating site if you're looking for a white man for marriage, maybe you have a friend who lives in Europe or in America or maybe in Australia, whatever part of the world, and you think, ah, I have this friend, she will help me or he will help me connect me with a white man. I want to tell you this because I've been getting, because I've been getting a lot of requests from black women who wants me to connect them to the white man because I was connected to the white man. Guys, my story won't be your story. It's possible, yes, to be connected, but it takes luck, guys. It takes luck. It's not easy as you think. I've been here four years in Italy, but I've met only three white men who are interested in dating black women. Four years, guys. And I have a lot of requests of women who want me to connect to these white men. One was Lorenzo. If you remember Lorenzo <laughs> in one of my stories, <laughs> this Lorenzo was very old, but he was so interested in dating a black woman. The two are not going to disclose who they are, but they were interested in black women. And then Corona happened. Then we don't see each other anymore. And I can't just take my phone and call. Ah, you said you're interested in a black woman. Have this, this, this. I'm not selling anyone, guys. Someone needs to really be interested and ask me. Then I can help connect to the other lady that is also interested in dating a white man but it's not easy it is only by luck so while you are waiting for your friend to connect you to a white man try online dating site please try it and if you follow all these tips that i have told you you will find your white man for marriage for a relationship you will find him it works guys it works i told you i know like 10 friends of mine who have found their husbands on online dating sites and they are happily married <laughs> as we are talking right now so thank you so much guys for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed you learned something if you have any question any question concerning relationships dating white men online dating please don't hesitate to write me a dm on my instagram at african bella i'll be so happy to help you i'm here to help so if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something don't forget to comment what you think about this video if you have ever tried online dating sites and you have some tips to give our sisters drop it in the comments below i'll be so happy very very happy don't forget to watch my other videos too they are so good and subscribe please i love you so much and you know what guys i always keep you in my heart here let us meet in my next video ciao ciao